But we're going to begin with Israeli troops inside Gaza this morning for what Israel calls the next stage of the war with Hamas. The Israel Defense Forces released this video of infantry and armored vehicles on the move. You see them there. They're entering Gaza from the north after another weekend of very intense bombing, causing large numbers of civilian casualties. That's according to Hamas officials. In the meantime, the Israeli government says they have now confirmed the death of a young woman believed to have been kidnapped by Hamas at a music festival and held hostage. You've seen her picture for several days now. They say this is a, they found the body of Shani Luke, was discovered in Gaza. Deborah Pat is in East Jerusalem for us following all the latest developments. Deborah, good morning to you. A very good morning. Tensions are mounting here in Jerusalem and the West Bank. Earlier this morning, four Palestinians were killed in clashes with Israeli forces coming as this war intensifies. Determined to show he is in full control, Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu visited Israeli troops over the weekend. You're surrounded by a sea of love, he told them. I salute you. This is the public face of Israel's war against Hamas. Grainy Israel Defense Forces footage showing a clean clinical operation. But many here view the war very differently. In a small protest in Ashdot, Reuma Kadem, who lost her daughter and grandchildren in the brutal October 7th attack, is furious. Her anger directed at Netanyahu. How long will we continue with this bloodshed, she said. If this man does not go, we won't have a solution. In the West Bank, Palestinian teenager Yazan Najjar told us he's outraged the children of Gaza have been forgotten. It makes me sick that the world is turning its back on us and it's not doing anything to protect us. As Israel pounds Gaza, Palestinians trapped inside this living hell have nowhere safe to hide. They are running out of everything. Some so desperate, they broke into a United Nations warehouse, grabbing anything they could get their hands on. CBS News producer Marwan Al Ghul drove through what's left of the northern part of Gaza City. Suddenly, massive airstrike hit this house. I can see the bodies of a woman here, a little boy is here, and others are looking for more deaths and more victims. Ambulances rush to rescue the critically injured. Many are sheltering in hospitals, which have received repeated orders from the Israeli military to evacuate. But the Red Crescent says if they move the hundreds of patients in intensive care, they will die. And the plea from Gaza is growing louder. We need peace. And both the United Nations and U.S. officials are urging Israel to prioritize the protection of civilians. Tony? Deborah Patiforis in East Jerusalem. Deborah, thank you very much.